Hello, this is Loredana and today I'll show you a demo of some features that we are preparing for our next version of Pipeline. This is one of the prototypes that we have been working on, trying out different rendering algorithms for graphs, integrating type checking and adding support for multiple languages like JavaScript and Python. We will create a graph using some basic functions that you can find in any language, like array concatenation, sorting, getting the length of an array, and so on. We have a graph that takes in two arrays, concatenates them, sorts the output, then slices the resulted array in half, applies a map function over each slice, and the results are again concatenated and sorted. So we will have five inputs, the two initial arrays, the start index value for the first slice, and then the two functions that will be applied over each map. Now we will run this graph after filling in the user given inputs. The two initial arrays, 0 for the start index of our first array slice and the two functions to be applied with map. And the final sorted array on the right is our result. Now we can take the same graph and use it in Node.js with our command line interface. We save it in the graph for .js file and copy the same inputs in the input file. Now let's run pipeline. and we see that we get the same result as we did in the browser. Now again we can take the graph and go to our Python implementation of the Pipeline client library. And we run the Jupyter Notebook. And fill in the same inputs. and we see that we get the same result. Now we can change the input values and the result is recalculated in real time. So let's check if we again get the same result in Node.js and in Python. Node.js shows the same result. And Python shows the same result. So how are we doing this? If we go back to the graph, we can click on each node and actually see the source code associated with that node and it has both a JavaScript and a Python implementation. Support for additional languages will be coming. This was a preview of some future pipeline features. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more pipeline news and check out our other demos.